town left to its own devices, stuck in a troubled present. Rosarno is an agricultural community of some 15,000 people in Italy's south. It continues to live through hard times in the grip of the local mafia, the Indrangheta. And yet, it's a political party that once supported the idea of northern Italy seceding from the south that's had its most surprising success here. The only party that will sort things out is the League. Five Star is a joke, and I voted for them. But not everyone agrees. Don't you remember when Salvini would call us Calabrians, thieves and crooks? All the troubles that this town has, the poverty, the organized crime and lack of any civil society have been taken by the League Party and transfigured into another issue, immigration one that the League are only too eager to use to their advantage. The migrant ship blockade is a promise Matteo Salvini made and kept. Italy can't take all these desperate people. There are enough here. Desperation and a forlorn sense of hope have been powering the League's success here. Calabria is one of the poorest regions in Italy and has been forgotten time and again by politicians over the decades. In its place, criminal organizations have taken root, exerting a powerful control over almost everything here, including politics. The League's coordinator in Calabria, Domenico Furgiuele, pictured here on his Facebook page with the leader Matteo Salvini, has been key to its success here. But he has been accused of having had links with the Mafia. Last March, Matteo Salvini celebrated his election as Calabria's senator in Rosarno. Among those pleased with his win was Rosarno's former mayor, Giacomo Saccomanno, who denies that the Indrangheta has had anything to do with the League's victory in the region. When people say that the League only won because the Indrangheta supported them, I can tell you that in these areas, the Indrangheta would have voted for other parties. Yet this is a region where local governments have been dissolved because of mafia infiltration. Suspicion runs deep here. It's very surprising that an intelligent politician like Matteo Salvini hasn't understood this. When you choose candidates who have links to these organizations, how will you ask citizens to report mafia crimes to the police if they fear repercussions? Not far from the town centre, this tent city. One official, the other makeshift housing hundreds of people, mainly from sub-Saharan Africa. Exploited by the Indrangheta, they work in the agricultural sector for a pittance and provide a distraction for the other problems people face here. Sonia Gallego, Al Jazeera, Rosarno.